Hey guys, Ray from Love the RV. Just a quick update on my sink install. Uh, I did the video yesterday where I installed the Flow Max faucet, but I also installed a new stainless sink and ran into a couple different issues with it. So I went down to the hardware store and I just got some cheap plastic trim. This isn't going to be how it's going to be forever. We just uh, wanted to get it functional. I think what I'm going to do is maybe get some uh, stainless steel or maybe black trim to go around the sink. Anyway, it's all mounted in there now. And also I had a problem with this drawer. And I solved that actually by taking the drawer apart and just trimming a couple inches off of it over here. So it just slimmed the drawer down. It's just a drunk junk drawer. At least I didn't lose that drawer. I'll show you underneath there. That was a problem where this uh, pipe was going to come down and hit the drawer. Some people said maybe I could reverse the sink, but I, I tried that. And what that does is bring this plumbing a lot closer. And I like to have a garbage can right in here. So I wanted that plumbing to be towards the back and stay where it is. Anyway, got all the plumbing all hooked up nice. Everything's draining well. And also now a problem that I had is the old sink had nice uh, plastic covers. So what I'm going to do with this is actually... Um, I'm going to put on kind of a butcher block cutting board. I picked up just a cheap piece of wood just so we can use it for a while and uh, kind of demo it and figure out if that's the way we want to go. So I'll just demo that for you. Okay, so here's the cutting board I got. It's just a piece of pine cut to fit the sink. What we plan to do is get a really nice kind of butcher block cutting board that'll fit right on the sink like this when we're not using it. And then on the bottom of the cutting board, put some uh, kind of the rubber bumpers you use for uh, for uh, um, things to set on door stoppers and stuff like that that way when it's in the sink and we're traveling it can't move around anywhere but also when we want to use the sink say we want to use the big sink we can just take it like this slide it over and we'll have an extra uh, uh, prep, prep place here for food we can cut up food and have the sink free over here be kind of nice and then when I'm doing dishes I can simply take it like this turn it sideways and I'll have a nice platform here do my dishes put the the rinsed ones in here then dry them put them here and put them away so anyway that's the idea so when I get that all completed I'll come back and give you a look at the finished project so there you go a quick update on the Sink install escapades. Anyway, I think that's going to turn out really nice. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Cheers, folks.